Hello everyone, Don Don here again with the next update on the War Corsair project. As you remember, the last couple weeks I've been uh, tackling the gear doors. Uh, the issue has always been uh, the gear doors work, but uh, the problem was is when the gear comes down, the gear doors open, but there was nothing to physically hold them in the open position. So as you're flying, the wind could literally probably try and push the doors closed, and if you try retracting the gear, it'll end up crushing the doors. So my problem I've had for the last several years, I've been trying to figure a way to uh, be able to drop the gear doors and hold them open the whole time and then when the gear closes, hold them closed. And uh, the original design just wasn't a, a system that worked. I'd never seen any of these models ever built that had gear doors on them because that mechanism I'm sure does not work. So I made all the pieces at one time, but there was no way it was gonna work out right just too much friction so so as you remember I was making my own system and uh, remember the last videos I had these pieces made which were fine uh, the original intent was to put them right in the center of the toggle assembly but it turned out that it was going to get in the way with the gear when it comes up was going to hit these and you remember that these were stacked like this with the bearings in between them so what I ended up doing is I had to go get some 3 8 inch aluminum and I made these instead of it. And then as you can see, I put steps in them like I did a cam, cam. so we put them together. So now the whole thing's only a quarter, three eighths inch thick instead of these, which were over seven sixteenths. So it's a lot thinner now. So I made uh, these three. And then uh, when I made these and put the bearings in them, then the cam wouldn't fit. It was the bearings were just a little too close together to make the cam bearing fit. So I had to go and make some new ones, uh, and that's what this is. These are just slightly longer. <clears throat> and then as you also, I made these parts here wider to get them to ride on the cam more, so the cam wasn't catching these edges. The cam wanted to kind of catch on the edge right here of those. <clears throat> so I made them wider. So that's where I came up with these now. So these are junk. And I made this one. I think this is one nice, but this is one of the old ones. But anyway, um, the new ones, uh, there's one of these on each side, one on each gear. That's half inch thick, and you can see the corner square. And the other, there's uh, six of these, three per side. So you get two of them you know, that come together like this, and then you get these two come together like this, and then the bearings go in there, and then these stack together like so, and the cam goes in the middle, the shaft, torque shaft goes through here. The purpose of this one now is I drill a 3 16 inch hole down through this as deep as I can and I screw in a 3 16 inch male rod end. And that is what literally will hook to the mechanism inside that pivots and opens and closes the doors. So, and then that keeps, this thing can only go up and down, it can't go in and out, can't twist and turn because of everything. So this is an extra one. I ended up making two of these and then I realized that I need a left and a right. So I had to make, had to make one more, so that's kind of a spare. All right, let me get under here and show you what I did. I did spend the last hour in here cleaning before I uh, decided to do this video. So using that CNC, it really throws little fine chips all over and you just track them through the whole shop into the house. So, all right, let's get back under here. Now you can see. Here's the uh, half inch thick piece, the th uh, three eighths inch thick pieces, and there's the cam in the center. The cam is not pinned yet. It needs to be drilled and set screwed or drilled and roll pin. And if you can barely make out, and just see the shininess right here, is that three sixteenths rod end. And then this is a piece of an eighth inch aluminum that was cut out with the CNC. It pivots right here on this center point, and then it traps onto this tube here that goes to the gear door and holds that. So what it is is like a teeter-totter. Instead of coming over here in the original point pushing up, I stretched it out past the pivot point here the same distance. Now I'm pulling it down. So I figured that the gear would work better, this mechanism worked a lot better pulling down than trying to push up. So right now it's in the full extended position, as you can tell by the doors, and then they won't move. Uh, they will need some uh, fine-tuning, but what I need to do is uh, disconnect the doors here, both sides, 
get the gear swung up into place and then position this cam and roll it up till the till these things are up in the closed position. Get, get the rods in and swing one door up and see if I can pin it and how tight it is and fine tune the adjustment with that rod in there. So that's basically how the whole system is set up to work. <clears throat> so, and then it's going to have just a little play in it. I need to make some spacers in here because these bearings aren't quite, two of them don't quite come up to half inch. And without a spacer in there, I can't tighten this down. I want to be able to tighten these down, just have a little bit of very little side play. But this piece can literally just go straight up and straight down. That's all it can do. Because that rod end in there keeps it from moving forwards and backwards. And then the cam keeps it from going side to side. So that's where I'm at. I got them both done. Uh, I got the gear door off of this one over here, but it's in the same. It's on the outboard side. Same configuration. Everything's done. All I got to do is get get the doors back in and finally did some clearance in here so I can get this last bolt all the way through got that all netted went through and tightened up some other bolts and stuff in the back but that's kind of where I'm at this week so <clears throat> doesn't look like much but that took me all day yesterday and today to, to do all this and then of course going to get the material this week uh, but before I could start cutting my end mills were a little too dull it was kind of burned the aluminum I was cutting so I had to set up my um, end mill sharpening jig that's what this guy is it's got a two degree lay this way and I got a bolt in the bottom but this is a five degree angle and that's a 30 degree angle and those are the three essential angles you need for sharpening end mills and then I've got this diamond wheel and I use that right in the CNC motor and I can jog this thing you know either this way across the end mill or this way across the end mill as you set this up so if it's set up this way it has to work in line like so and if you have it set this way then you gotta move it across this way because of that two degree angle so it works good it's a little tedious but a little slow you gotta run the Mach 3 program in jog mode and only jog it I'm doing like two thousands increment jogs to drop it down to grind and cut. And these are some cheap Chinese high-speed spindle uh, two-flute aluminum ends, and they weren't ground very well. I did a much better job sharpening it myself than when they came new out of the box. So, so all right, that's about going to do it for this week's episode. Um, again, I still need to pull a cowling and button up a few things in there and get the fuel tank off. I got a gauge to hook up back in there and uh, get the paint touched up in spots get the, get working on the canopy again as soon as the gear doors are done I'm gonna need to push the plane back so I can get the uh, cherry picker in here I need to lift the airplane up in order to do the gear swing just kinda ran out of time today and I wanted to get them in there and get everything fitted so everything's kinda pre-fitted now it's just a matter of swinging the gear and getting that cam into position mark it drill it set it and hopefully forget it. Give her a test. I'll get uh, once that part gets there. I'll uh, I'll do a video showing them in operation. So, <clears throat> all right. I think that's going to do her for now. Just like I said, I had to spend some time cleaning up in here. Had a hell of a mess. I still had sand in here from blasting on this car. So, all right, folks. That's going to do her for this week's update. Uh, short and to the point. So as always, feel free to leave any comments, questions, concerns. I'll uh, answer them as they come along. Appreciate everyone taking the time to watch these videos. So uh, for, for now, I'm going to call it a week, and uh, we'll catch you guys next weekend. So this is Dino Don out. Thanks for watching.